Hi everyone, this is Ben, and welcome to My Shiny Toolbox. Today on My Shiny Toolbox, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to introduce you to Mary Jane, and we're going to be doing the first round of maintenance items listed in the owner's manual for the 2018 Airstream Classic 33 FB. So let's get going. Here we have Mary Jane at home. Uh, you can see I've got her parked here and un unhooked from the truck. And I'm hooking up the electrical cable, which you can see right over here. And I've just I've set it up as just a small demonstration to show you how I hook up the electrical cable whenever we hook up anywhere. Um, at, at my home here, I have rigged up a 30 amp um, connection here outside the house. And I have already plugged in my surge protector my electrical protection there for the, the rig. And uh, I just want to show you the, the process that I use to, to hook in the cable. The first thing I do is hook in the surge protector. You can see right here. And it has a little um, cycle that it goes through. I don't know if you can see the lights or not. Oh yeah. So it's got a couple of LEDs here that are showing you what um, what's going on within the, in, within the uh, surge protector. So you, you have to plug it in and let it go through its startup cycle. I also have a 30 amp adapter that's connected to it. It's 30 amp because we used to have a, a, a camper that was a 30 amp camper. So, but if you'll, you notice, the cable is not hooked up yet. And so what I do is I hook it up to the, the camper first, the, the, the male end that hooks into the camper there or female end rather, and then run it to the outlet in your campground or um, in this case at the house, and then plug in the cable. Um, my, my best practices for me is that I wanna make sure that if there's a spark when you connect everything up, you don't want it to be on your camper. You want it to be away from the camper at, um, at the cable. So that's what I'm about to do. It is hooked up to electrical power to the house. You can see the cable there runs from Mary Jane up to the house. And there's the Batmobile. And I'm ready to level the camper. And I do that right here at the, the jack. There's a 4,000 pound jack here. And basically what I do is lower it down. Until it looks, looks pretty level. And then I check it with my level. All right, now that I've got it um, pretty well level, I've, what I use is my um, little liquid level, -er, um, and I put it on the door. I've discovered that my door, oops, I've discovered that my door, the, the little uh, aluminum or chrome strip that runs across the door is level with the floor. So all I have to do is lower the camper till it gets about level, and you can see there it's level. So. I'm ready to go. All right, this is Mary Jane, a 2018 Airstream Classic 33 FB. So it's 33 feet long from the hitch where the ball goes to the back of the trailer. So it's right now it's, it's currently the biggest one they make. And just a real quick, just a real quick tour. 
Um, inside, here is the bedroom, rather dark, with queen-size mattress. All the shades are pulled, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit cool while I'm doing this, uh, while I'm doing the maintenance here. Um, dinette with a retractable table that telescopes. Here is my owner's manual. Um, a couch that can sleep one comfortably. It has a, what I find really cool. It has a projection screen TV. Here's the projector right here. I'm sorry, the screen. And there is the projector. So when I'm doing my Xbox, and you guys catch me doing my Xbox online, I'm doing it right here, sitting right here, looking at my 65-inch uh, screen. Now, this is the part that really sold us. So this is the bathroom in the 33FB. It is basically the, the, the rear... 25% uh, of the camper and it's hard to get a good feel for how big this bathroom is it's really really big I mean here's the here's the shower you could you could stand about three people in that shower and be comfortable so yeah that's that's Mary Jane and just so you see so it's officially registered to uh, my wife and myself as Mary Jane. So when you hear me talking about Mary Jane, that's what I'm talking about. All right, on to the maintenance. What we're going to do today is look at the recommended maintenance in the owner's manual for our Airstream and perform the the first set the first set of scheduled maintenance. So um, if if you want an Airstream, if you don't have um, an owner's manual for your Airstream, they're relatively easy to get at airstream.com. Look here. Just airstream.com. And there's a section in the, the website that has all of the, the manuals. Ours came with our Airstream that we, because we bought it just last August, so we've had it a little bit over a year. Uh, but you can get one PDF. Um, directly from the website and you can print it out or keep it as an electronic copy. I keep both of course. Um, but in the owner's manual is is a section called maintenance and here's scheduled maintenance and so what we're going to do is this first section. Every 1,000 miles or 60 days. So the things we're going to go through are we're going to check the operation of the escape window batteries. We're going to check the battery in the smoke detector. We're going to check tire pressures. We're going to check around the hitch for loose bolts or unusual wear. And finally we're going to check the GFI circuit breaker. Um, what that really stands for is GF, it's really GFCI, it's ground fault circuit interrupter. And when we get to that section, I'll show you specifically how we're going to do that. Okay, so let's get to it. The first one is the escape window. What that maintenance item is telling you to do is check the operation of latches and the upper hinge. And the way to do that is to open the window. So I'm going to get my handy dandy tool for opening the window. This is my secret. This is my secret that I'm sharing with the world. This is a flexible plastic spoon. If you notice, it doesn't have any sharp edges and it's very flexible, very limber. Okay. So I'm going to keep that in my, in my pocket just in case I need it. All right, back here to the window. And you know, it's an escape window because it has the big, bright red letters that say exit. The, um, our model of Airstream has these, 90 degree turn latches. See, they latch like that. And then you, when you unlatch it, my practice is to always press those handles down to keep them out of the way. And then, to unlatch the window, you lift up on these two handles. And if you notice, it's kind of sticking. Well, let's go fix that. We're outside here at the escape window. This is again the rear of the, of the, of the Airstream. And I've got my 
my handy plastic spoon. And what I do is, if you can see that, I work it under the, the, the glass, this is tempered glass, and just turn it sideways and it pops right open. Makes it really easy to, to open. Now what happens is this seal, this gasket, when it heats up, it becomes a little tacky, becomes a little sticky, and then it'll stick to the underside of the windows right here and make it a little difficult to, to open from those, from that, from the, uh, the angle that you have the, the handles on the inside. So now that window should open, should open pretty easily. So let's go in and check that. Opens right up. And see, that was just with one hand. So that, that worked fine. All right, we're inspecting the hinge here. No, no abnormal wear. Nothing in the way up here. It all looks pretty good. Now there's, there, there are tons and tons of uh, postings on Airstream forums and um, even on Airstream Addicts that, that talk about these gaskets and what to do about that. I've never put anything on these gaskets to keep them from sticking because I'm not completely sure what these gaskets are made of. I mean, there's some kind of neoprene and rubber and some man-made, you know, some other man-made products that are in there that I'm not convinced that, you know, an oil, some kind of oil or any kind of lubricant or something like that, if you put that on these, that, that they wouldn't break down and degrade. So I'm, I just leave them alone and I use my uh, plastic spoon. Uh, no damage there to those. All right, these windows being as large as they are, you can shut them. At least you can, you can unhook them from the, from the outside just by pressing up on the, the little latch there. I don't know if you can see it very well. And then let the window slide down. And then we'll go back in and latch the window. So that's one of the escape windows. Again, this model of Airstream has two escape windows. I don't know about the other models right now. I hope to learn someday, but so um, there's one latch, there's the other latch, and ta-da, so that maintenance item is complete. Mm -hmm.